Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Yes, two weeks away, the NFL draft, and a lot's been made about Jadavion Clowney. Will he be the first pick for the Houston Texans? Well, another name has surfaced, a guy by the name of Khalil Mack of Buffalo. And, and yesterday there was an article about Rick Smith, the general manager of the Houston Texans, maybe preferring Khalil Mack over a Jadavion Clowney. Now, you've heard me say numerous times, I think Jadavion Clowney is the best player in this draft. And, yes, I think they should draft him. But I can understand why Rick Smith is saying what he's saying. Because here's, let's go to the chalkboard, shall we? Here's what they run. Here's the front, and the black is your defense. They run a 3-4 defense or a 34 defense, which means they got three, one, two, three defensive linemen and four linebackers, two outside and your two inside guys with the will and the mic. Now, Clowney is a 4-3 defensive end, which he played at the University of South Carolina, which means he normally lines up out here. In Houston's scheme, Clowney will have to line up here on the inside, okay? That will definitely take away from his ability to be aggressive and use his speed on the outside. Also, it will subject him to a lot of double teams. You see these big, big tight ends? That's what happens in the National Football League. They play a lot of two tight end sets, which means you got a lot of trapping. They block down. They pull offensive linemen. He'll have to spill what we mean kick out. That takes away Jadavion Clowney. Now, Khalil Mack plays his position. Although when I watch this tape, he plays with his hands in the dirt a lot of times, but it's against spread teams, meaning they don't have tight ends. But he has enough hip uh, quickness and speed to buzz out to the flat, to cover tight ends man to man. That's why Rick Smith is saying, I like him over Jadavion Clowney. Now, that being said, you know, if you get rid of these guys, okay, your tight ends, and you put in, let's say, more wide receivers, now here's when Romeo Cornell can take advantage of a Jadavion Clowney. Because now Clowney basically plays an outside linebacker, which is a defensive end position. The reason why I know this works, when I played with the New York football giants, guess what? This was me. I played with my hand in the dirt as well at the University of South Carolina. But Lawrence Taylor could play an in or an outside linebacker. It basically becomes a 4-3 set. It's all dependent upon whether you got receivers, fast guys, or you go back and you put big guys in here at the tight end set. But at the end of the day, folks, at the end of the day, Jadavion Clowney can play these outside linebacker positions because they're not going to ask him to do a whole lot in coverage. Cover three, which means he's a curl flat player. All he has to do is buzz in the flat. He also has the speed where if they run any kind of pressure man-to-man, -man, he can lock up with this guy and he can cover him down the field. He's fast enough and he showed that by running a 4 4 5 40. So, Here's the ticket. If you're Romeo Cornell, you have to get creative if you drafted your Davion Clowney and make him what we term as a situational player, meaning he may not have to play every down. You also have a lot of teams that run the zone read spread. Now Jadavion Clowney gets on this outside right here, folks. There's no tight ends. There's open. You put a number seven there, and he can bring the heat. And that's what I think at the end of the day that the Houston Texans and Romeo Cornell is going to do. I played for him, and I know what he's going to do, and that's what he'll, he'll utilize and use him as. That's our short talk for Good Day Columbia. We'll come back and wrap things up just after this break.